The South by Southwest experience was explained to me as a film festival. I've really never experienced anything like this before. Going to South by and going to Austin was very eye-opening. As a film major, it was really cool experiencing all these different films and seeing actors and directors and really immersing myself into the culture. I got to sit in these world-renowned theaters and just see these works of art be projected on screen, uh, not to mention that 200 to 500 feet away from me are a lot of the actors who are in the film and a lot of the directors were in the film, and I get to kind of see their reaction. I basically knew nothing about it going in besides I was gonna see movies. And when I got to Austin, Texas, I was immediately bombarded with all these different events to do, like the different panels to talk to the directors, the different shorts and films to see, and even the student-run films. One of my favorite moments was going to this panel hosted by J.J. Abrams, who of course directed Star Wars, Star Trek, all those films. And at the end, everyone was like crowding together in front of the stage to get his autograph. And somehow I managed to get his autograph. There are these things called South by Southwest Express Passes, where you go in a little bit early. It's not even that bad. It's like you get there at like 9, 9.30 a.m. and you wait in a small line and you can get two Express Passes for the day and it can really be for any event that you have to wait online for that's scheduled for that day. You skip the entire line and you get in first. It is absolutely insane. For the mentor sessions, I saw Brian Bem and Rachel Walker. Uh, Brian was from Rooster Teeth and Rachel was from Sundance and they were both very different people. I met with Matt Hames, who's a documentary filmmaker based out of Austin, Texas. Personally, I want to work with documentaries, and meeting with Matt was a really good experience because I got to talk to him about like, a variety of things. I'm actually looking to become a film critic, so I was able to meet an actual film critic, Gerald Peary. He's from the Arts Fuse, which is like a Boston arts website. I went to South by Southwest with the plan to meet with two mentors. David Nin, who is one of the top people for film in Kickstarter, and Ann Tran, the person who is the head of the grants for Airy Cameras. But the thing is, is it flew by so fast, but I learned so much in that small amount of time. But it was nice to talk to someone in the business that I didn't really have a relationship with. They shared their knowledge with me, and I was really grateful to talk to an actual human being about what the industry is like. Having the opportunity to go to South By really gives us an advantage as students because we know what we're looking forward to. If you go someplace you haven't been before, you can broaden your horizons and experience something that you'd never usually experience. I feel like before the trip, I really didn't have as much of an appreciation for everything that goes into making a film. And after meeting all these different people and seeing all like the directors, all the people who went into making all all these different films, marketing, uh, directing, acting. It was really interesting and kind of gave me a new perspective on the whole idea of movie making. And I think I saw about 19 movies in a week. There are events 24 seven. It is absolutely wonderful. So overall, the South by Southwest experience was just the spring break that I wanted.